What's good, YouTube? We have my client, Zodiac Duelist's own, Cam the Man Neil against Team Jobbers at Aception. This is a rematch from the top 16 of YCS Vegas where Ed was undefeated, but Cam slayed the beast. This is going to be quite interesting. Cam has been known to bring very casual decks to these tournament settings, and I'm curious to see if he's going to take this one seriously or not. I think it's the other way. Cam's usually serious. Ed's usually the fun-loving one. Oh, I mean, yeah, my bad. Yeah, Cam's been killing, slaying these like, like they're his business. And we've got an extra deck for both players, so no domain monarchs. But here is a tenacity with an Erebus. So we have extra deck monarchs continuing on. I guess Cam still feels like it's the best deck. It it it's a very strong powerhouse for the meta. Like, just having the ability to have an infinite toolbox and non-targeting removal is pretty nice. Nope, oh, searching for his one-up domain. We would assume one of, yeah. So, does he have a brilliant fusion play loaded, or does he even play that engine? Looks like he's going to be ripping from the hand somehow. Oh, yeah. Ooh. He's checking out if that, uh, that Max C is loaded for that young one for one, but just, it's not. Just scouting. Red gets blue, blue gets red. It's not bad. So do you choose not to shuffle back blue here? Um, I assume he only plays one of it, right? Yeah, I would assume so, too. Yeah, why would you not shuffle back your target? Uh, because if you special red layer, you can add it to hand. I suppose. It just... Yeah, he leaves it in. <laughs> oh man, these two. Also, if Red Lair is sent to the graveyard, you can target a Super Quantal monster in your graveyard besides Red Lair and Special Summon it, but you cannot activate its effects. So, uh, also, like, if he overlays, I guess, with Red Lair, it's sent to the graveyard in any way. So, there's multiple uses for Red Lair now that Blue's in the grave. That is true. We have a really strong setup over here. And set three pass, oh man. I'm guessing Cosmo. Or BA from a set three pass, but probably Cosmo. He's fallen that low. Uh I don't think it's PK BA. I'm surprised Cam after a DQ loss taking the time to summon Prime that way instead of doing the token. It's probably because of who he's against. The man. Ooh. Yeah, I, I figured he was playing the uh, Seraphite engine. Because we saw the... Ooh! Huh. Interesting. Lockdown. Is he also playing the Yasenju card of demise deck? Yo, boo boo. There's a lot of Carter Demise decks. This could be Clifford as well. Klee, Beat Borch. Could be, could be Blue Eyes, maybe. Mm, do you play Rivalry main deck? I, I don't know. I've seen some strange things. So it can't even be summoned. So we're just trying to swing for the fences now. He's still got that Storm Fourth loaded, which is a problem. It's a problem if he has another Aether. Or not Aether, uh, Erebus. You can't tribute for a different kind, if I recall. No, you can't. So. But it, you still have to remember it's gonna. It can move the monster out of the way on the next turn and allow him to swing for game. Oh my gosh, don't judge me. He's about to stop the attack in a silly way. Psy frames! Oh no! <laughs> Reading uh, LOL. well. Uh, we're gonna be here for an hour. Well, I'm prepared. 
Fucking Ed. I swear to God. Oh, man. Glad to have Raid your fridge back. It's been a while. Yeah, <laughs> definitely playing Klee. Nope. Nope. Oh, we got Max C. Max C. Reno's, though. So, did I... he get to draw two for that? Yeah. One for the initial special summon, and then one for the special summon off of... Because it is a reveal, I think. Yeah. This is stupid. The deck is good trust. <laughs> I mean, I'm trusting you, Ed. It was 5-0 and oh at Houston at table one. I just feel like it's one of those decks that's like if your opponent learns how to play against you or knows how to play against you. Like, I don't think that's true with this deck. Sideframes, while reactive, uh, if you just let them sit, they can eventually start progressing. Like, you can't just not do anything forever. They have proactive cards. I see this. <sighs> it's face down. Yeah, permanently. <laughs> it's gone forever. Rip also, also when this trap goes, you can add any Cyframe card from your deck to your hand except for the trap card itself. Huh. Except for the turn it's in. And it is a trap card, so that is a quick effect. So you can react and get any combo piece. Or react piece. There goes the uh, driver. Yeah, main phase. It was going to go anyways, but he wants it for the free tribute. And what do you get rid of here? Probably the rivalry and the brilliant. I don't know, man. Like, giving. <laughs> You're in an okay position. Like, he still needs resources to even use. And yeah, he is going to get rid of. You could you could have had. Uh, you can still summon Aether. Uh, Oh, no, you can't. Uh, Karaz is a warrior. I keep forgetting that, even though he's like, he's a warrior. So, yeah, you would be stuck if it's out there. So he forced himself into the play to give him a card. Yeah, and plus getting into the Brilliant just gives you... Ooh! Oh, no! Wow. Get this... out of here! This guy. Cam may be the man. But Cyframe's putting in that young round one work. And here comes the progressivism I was talking about. Now he can get rid of uh, things for free. Nothing like bringing your side deck into game one. <laughs> that banished pile. Ooh, get two back for free. Well, not free, 800 life points. Pay 800. Pay 8, feel great. Here it comes. Yeah. Definitely, and we have the battle phase stopper now. Ugh. Oh, there's more problems than just that. Now, nice. now, what? Now, if he has the battle phase stopper out, he can, uh, he can, um, what's it called? Uh, I believe contact fuse at this point is what this uh, does. Immediately synchro. Yeah. When I say fuse, synchro. Yeah. Yeah. Same shit, but. <sighs> now the good old set strategy. Two, two diminished brilliant fusions later. And now we can just pitch that Joker and get rid of this face down, I believe, unless it can only target face up cards. Um, target one card on the field. Yeah, it's anything. Yeah, so he has he has juice for that in his hand, and we know it. He can just get rid of that, uh, unless he's playing not that many. He can just do it anytime. And now the pass game. Pass, 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 pass. Oh, that's high frames. So fun. But now Ed likely has every single answer he could possibly ever want. Deck out, please. Oh, he is ahead by nine cards. Yeah, but if you get a prime loaded, you can just infinitely reuse yourself. Uh, he can banish the prime with overload. Uh, that is true. 
There's some yugs happening here. Oh, man. Oh, God. Calling for the deck out, but gonna thin some for himself. Well, I mean, you need a couple more resources to ensure that your opponent is done. Oh, I see Joey Lynch in the hat in chat. No, I don't think he's... You definitely don't want to consider um, wave motion cannon, especially if your opponent's playing monarchs. It just puts too much of a target on you. <laughs> Garnet banish duality. Oh man. I don't care, I'm gonna show you what I got. I mean... This is insane. What a matchup. Two of the stalliest decks. Well, I love, stall capable. I love sitting here for fucking 50 minutes. Maybe Cam's gonna scoop out of boredom. Like, at the end of game one, being here for 50 minutes. Well, like you said, he has hope for Prime, but he's gotta figure out how to deal with these other trap cards. Do you, I doubt he sides Royal Decrees. Uh, twin Twisters equally as good. <laughs> Joey Lynch said Ed is hoeing. <laughs> oh, it's a free banish a turn, and now he's got two loaded in his own banish again. Pay eight, feel great. No, Ed is hoeing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we already know. You may have more life points, but my strategy is in full effect. Oh, definitely is. <laughs> banish, banish, banish. Oh, man. Ed, I, what possesses Ed to wake up and go, I'm gonna fuck Cam today? <laughs> well, when you get when you lose to somebody in a YCS. Uh, after going undefeated in Swiss. So we can put a three hour timer on this round, right? And then we can cut into match procedures. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, we have no time procedures, Robbie. We need, we need to grandfather in one. It's like, if a match takes more than three hours... <laughs> Three, really? Three? You think this is going to go three? I don't know. They don't have enough cards in their decks. We have 16 more turns to go. Oh, Levels. is he going to normal Levels. summon something? Levels. Oh, oh God. We got some... Oh, and there's a script <laughs> to the feels. He's like, I'm done. Cam like, caught what? a case of it. He's like, I'm fucking done. We always like to take this time to shout out Trollandtoad.com. Without them, you wouldn't see Adiception play Psyframes against the man. Nothing like sitting here at 5 o'clock in the afternoon watching Psyframes. <laughs> Pay eight. Uh, Ed, why you hoeing? <laughs> hoeing, hoeing, hoeing. Uh, screams internally. Cyframe has no way to pressure the opponent. The trap card. That trap card was stupid. Also, he was ahead. He can deck his opponent. Drawing the trap card is like a win condition. Who is Ed shout out to? Shout outs to Paulina. Who's that? Probably his grill. See, like, even if you open Twin Twister here, like, you don't know what's in the hand. Maybe he plays that... What's that one that, uh, continuous that shuts off? Soul Drain? Stops hand effects? Is that Soul Drain? Yeah, but I, I don't think you play that. A lot of people side one. Right now. Oh, oh sweet. No. Here, here we go. <laughs> Round two. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. It's fun games like this that really make you enjoy the game. So, three path. So... Ed has three new cards since the last turn to play, since his end phase, and there is a Restrict. The fuck are you playing, Ed? Well, it, you know, he you side Restrict for Monarchs. Obviously, but like, we, maybe a Garnet will let him get in here. Boom! <laughs> I 
I guess Garnett would be the stones. Uh, 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 mine, uh, mine drained his hand, by the way. <laughs> Just flip an attack, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you progress yourself in this state. There's five back rows now. He may have walked himself. Well, I mean... And Cam, Cam, Cam is ahead. Cam is ahead, but you have to remember, Cam just got the six cards in hand, so... Uh-oh, there's the trap. Banish, banish, banish. Bye, monster. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. What's up, Admiral Uzbot? See, now, even if he drew, like, uh... He, he's gotta wait to trigger that overload, even if he drew something like Decree. Yeah, he would need double to create a procket. Oh, wow, he's just gonna pitch the card instead. Instead of letting him get to a second banish side frame to use other cards. He maybe he figures he's locked one of his own back rows in there as a bluff earlier from turn one. I don't think he did. You gotta have more faith in Ed than that. Uh well, there's other mind games, like Erebus usually rips from hand, and like we saw Ed set several last time, and Erebus rip from hand instead of field. So, like, based off that, like, based off that kind of play, Ed might have been like, I want to keep this card and set it, uh, before card card because his hand might have not been that good. I almost want Ed to summon card card and start attacking for 800. <laughs> Boke. Right now, Ed would technically deck out if we were playing a deck out game. I mean, that may be what Cam's going for. The thing is, feels and stuff like, oh god. There's a path set. Like I said, I, I, I felt like one of these were back here. What level am I on? But it was not one of the earlier sets. Yeah, but we're already bored of the new format. Are we about to see Cyframes 2-0? Maybe. 2-0? Cam? The man? My boy. My client. He gets hoed one round, gets hoed another. Like, All right. Not, not his month. <laughs> Could have had a chance to fight for 200 all at once. And then I mean, Cam, Cam, Cam's topped the last two Zodiac tournaments. Yeah, he's topped three total. Did he top the big one? I don't remember. Yeah, because him and Travis Savage played, if I recall. Yeah. Three premier tops to add to Cam's uh, stats here. <laughs> now we have the pitch game from both players. Uh-oh. Now, can, uh, can this Cyframe card hit his own cards or opponents only? Target one card on the field. Oh, so he can clear his own stuff need be. Interesting. Yeah, but right now we're searching for... Th oh, hello, Ripley. Uh, we're searching for a vanilla monster over here. Some of the most intense gameplay you might ever see. Thanks for that follow, by the way. Set Field Spell. <laughs> uh, yay, Field Spell. Well, if I use all of my extra deck, he well, won't be able to... Oh. Well, the Field Spell's gone for the rest of the game. What if he keeps setting cards in the Field Spells? <laughs> I mean, stranger things have happened. You can't confirm what it is. Oh, just pitch it. He doesn't want to walk up his own back row. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! All of these traps. Your move. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. Yu-Gi-Oh! Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. It's time to da 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 duel. <laughs> what is that? Delta? Yeah. Is this the one that negates spells? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
Do we have a fucking vanilla monster yet over here? There we go. Yay, Omega? Psychic field zone. Yep. We have progression. Now he's only on a 18 turn clock. <laughs> Yay, 18 turns. <laughs> but with that removal, it, it is a tough spot. Oh, this thing really does summon in defense mode? Huh. <sighs> Whew. Oh, well, we get to see this Omega rip a card out of hand. Do you even bother to start doing that? You, you have to. All of the cypherms require you not to have oh, yeah. uh, monsters. But he can do that any time, kind of, right? Is that an activated Stormforth? No, a uh, pitched. Okay. So... He can chain the uh, continuous effect. So he's going to chain several things. Chain Omega. Chain, chain Master Restrict. Restrict. Does he? He doesn't want to chain his own effect. No. LOL. Okay. Ooh, that would have been really strong. Wow. That's sick. That is sick. That would have hit everything. Oh my gosh, it would have run over Omega. It would have stopped any Psyframe from being able to do anything. Right, it, it, there would have had to be a Mirror Force down. What an answer. Yo, he can't let that be a thing. What an answer. That's crazy. He hit the Majesties. That moment where you hit the one you need out of... I know that feeling of frustration, too. You have the answer in your hand, and you just can't do anything. No idea effect? No, everything's face down. Oh. Oh, dear. And a rip. Reno. Is it in the same slot? Oh, my gosh! RNG! I'm assuming that there's multiples in there. But then he, why wouldn't he have just summoned the one into that one single back row? Red layer. Special, special, special. Attack! <laughs> Good luck with that one. Yeah. Oh no, actually this isn't a bad call. This will shut off all of the other negation for the turn. If he's got a way to answer back row or something here, or a way to answer uh, the board, then he can do a lot here. I think he was just trying. I don't think there's an answer. But then again, I'm being pessimistic here. I'm surprised Ed hasn't searched that field spell with that trap and grave. No, he, he already used the trap and search for another monster. Ah, okay, okay. Erebus. Getting a prime. I can just feel the frustration too, but like Cam's not giving up here. <laughs> Who's Billy Prank? <laughs> the things you see Ed play online though. Shoutouts to Explanation Explanation Billy Break in the chat. So, John, I hear you're becoming one with the filing cabinet. Yeah, I'm just slowly fusing into it. All the knowledge that 
sits behind me. Oh, hey, look, Omega's back. I forgot about him. Yeah. Are we going to proc the Majesty Fiend for the third goddamn time? Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet. We got life points, guys. First hit of the duel. <laughs> so bad. I mean, Cam's... Cam's realistically in a position where he's just gonna get hit the majesty for the third time. Nope, it's Erebus this time. Cam would need like defense with his majesties and then have to feel safe attacking, but he can't even tribute it out. Hmm. Just the two of us. Every single time, just the two of us. I don't know what you're talking about. Yay, what do we hit? Uh, looks like a knife there. <laughs> Jeez. All of these monarchs in hand. <sighs> Both duels down to 13 cards in deck. I see Thunderstriker in our chat. This is game two, St. Maddox. <laughs> Thanks, Booty Buck Cheeks 3. <laughs> it's also J O N. Glad you caught it live. Oh my. Yeah, we're watching Force of Will. We we're are. We're just watching Ed Force his will on Cam the Man. I mean, this is like watching Refract Refrain, but a whole lot worse. <sighs> hmm. So, like, do you just, like, cry internally here for the rest of the game? <laughs> Being Cam? I'm trying to figure out who Billy Break in the chat is. I'm on other adventures as Cam gets choked slowly to death. Oh, cool. Now we start to load up things and kill this prime. Yay, 11 turns. <laughs> Shoutouts to Billy Break, clueless to all this nonsense. I hope you guys are really enjoying watching this paint dry. Storm Fourth, we're gonna see Omega Banish. Ooh, Chain Twin Twisties, Chain Omega. I can't, we're in standby. Oh, third player priority. Here comes the Majesty's Fiend, boys. Look at this man actually playing out. No! Rippling! Hit him with it! No! Cam! Why? <laughs> Cam, no! <laughs> no! Well, good attempt. <laughs> <laughs> like, we saw that coming. Oh, man. Free cards. Well, yay. Well, good news. Um, we just need one more card back into Dacoff's deck. Oh, excellent. Here comes another Omega. Are you ready for some feels? Yeah, unfortunately. Shout out to watching Canster and Paint Dry. A shout out to Force of Will. We got another Synchro for 8. 
He's probably going to make another Omega for when his opponent answers it. Really, he's burning the search here? Well, I guess you can recycle it back to the grave. <laughs> oh, yay! More traps! <sighs> oh. Do you love watching traps, John Moore? I mean... I... I, I knew there was a mirror force down. Cam should have been watching the stream. Well, he should have remembered the rippling. We hey, that deck out is still win condition right now. Oh, no, it is. You know what else is really annoying? All of these primes. It just depends when he's going to draw that removal trap, and there goes one prime. That's still 2,800 to the face. And get oh. the face stone. <laughs> Gotta remove that shit face stone. Now there is an Ido stone and an idea loaded in grave. Can Cam handle it? If man, if only he just kept that majesties, it would have been a lot harder to do all this. But he would have just removed it all the same. No, definitely. We have we have one removal face down. We should have the ability to check a monster effect. I think we only have one storm forth left over here from Cam. This is painful. I mean, you create a very complex game state to drag your opponent under, and I think it's one of the things that we're seeing here from Ed, is Ed's taking advantage of putting pressure on your opponent, allowing them not to play the game, while optimizing on the stun aspect of this deck. It's not even like Cam's actually made a mistake during this entire thing. No, he, de Cam definitely hasn't, but you have to remember, we're, we're weaving a very complex game state here. So, one misplay, well... I guess you can say Cam attacking into the Rippling could have been a misplay, but he did have to answer the Rippling at some point. Yeah, but like, uh, like how you said that you feel like if Psyframes are figured out, you can just beat them. There's nothing Cam could have done differently to beat during this duel. Well, not attacking into the Rippling. <laughs> well, no, even then it's just going to get removed by this overload that was already back there. That is true. So, like, he had the answer already. He wasn't even worried, even if he didn't attack. It was just the better option to take care of it. Well, here we go. We we need to see what else we have here. We still have the trap. And Cam admits defeat. Wow. So there is your round one feature. Yay, Ed hoed him. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Uh, good good games, guys. Good games. All right, stream. We're going to be back later with your top four uh, matches. I'm not sure exactly when the first one's going to be. The second one will be at 8.30 uh, Central. We will have... Uh, who is it? We have Adam Barron's match at 8.30. So yep, be Adam ready Barron for that. Adam Barron against Alex Buell. 